I've been against the idea of alcohol. I think it's uh, detrimental to all sorts of bodily function. Do you have any thoughts on the gut microbiome and your gut in general and alcohol? Yeah. Uh, my, my position on this has evolved through the years. So I used to believe that a glass of red wine, at least on occasion, was desirable because that red wine has certain polyphenols, specifically resveratrol that can actually beneficially impact the microbiome. Now, before people take that and run away, like if you want to hear that alcohol is decent, then stop the podcast now, but please don't, please don't, because I would like to continue to educate on the topic. I actually, I actually have, there's been a few studies that have changed my mind on this. So first of all, Zane, there was a study where they took a group of people and they had them consume alcohol. And what they monitored in the hours after is they monitored their blood alcohol level every 30 minutes. And they also monitored a marker for gut permeability. So the concern is that alcohol is disruptive to the microbiome. And I don't think that's very surprising because if like we want to quickly clean someone's wound, what do we use, right? Or if you want to clean your countertop, you use alcohol-based things. It kills microbes. So in this study, it's quite fascinating because these people, their as their blood alcohol level went up, so did the... Um, the things that were leaking across their gut barrier. 